I did was welcome to this video on multi-currency and more specifically on realized gains and losses exchange differences. If you wish to learn more about unrealized gains and losses, make sure to watch the related video on that topic. What is a realized gains or loss exactly? Well, when we receive the vendor bill in a foreign currency, we need to convert it into a home currency, here the euro. So at the date of the invoice, $100 might be worth 95 euros, for example. However, the currency rates vary all the time, and when the payment later comes, the $100 are now maybe worth 90 euros only. Since we're in a situation of a vendor bill, it means that this bill will cost us less than expected at the beginning, from 95 to 90 euros. In that case, we are in a situation of the realized gain. Let's take another example. We issue a customer invoice for $100 again, and it's worth, in my local currency, 95 euros. When we receive the payment, the converted amount only shows 90 euros. In that case, since we received less than we ought to have, we have a realized loss. What's important to understand is the realized part of those use cases. It is realized because we have indeed issued or received the payment. The fact that there is indeed a gain or a loss is indisputable and can be refuted. Contrary to unrealized gains or losses, realized gains, exchange differences are always certain. We know the value of the invoice at its accounting date and we know its value once the payment from a foreign currency was made. The difference must be registered then in our books. Thanks to our new multi-currency features, this process can be fully automated. Let's see how it works in the database. Okay guys, when you want to use a multi-currency environment in your database, make sure to have those configurations done first. So to do so, you go in the accounting application within the configuration menu and access the settings of the app. Once you're there, you have a dedicated section for the currencies here. You have on the left hand side the main currency of your company and also a uh, link to the list of currencies available for that company. On the right hand side, you also have the automatic currency rate feature, uh, enabling Odoo to generate automatically on a periodic basis the different currency rates for the activated currencies that you have. So here, the first thing you need to do is choose the service from which you're going to take the currency rates. So here I've chosen the European Central Bank, but you have also different other possibilities of your choice. The interval is going to be the periodic basis on which we're going to synchronize those rates. So daily, weekly, monthly, or you can choose manual if you don't want a synchronization. And here it also it Odoo indicates you the next run for the synchronization between the provider and the database. If you don't want to wait until the next synchronization, just click on the double arrow and Odoo will take the currency rate of the day. So let's go in the currencies and see what it looks like. So as you can see, you have a whole list of existing currencies in your database, but not all are activated. So if you want to use a new currency, you just click on the active button and activate a new one. Let's go in the USD. And as you can see here, we have the information from the currency. But what is most important, of course, is the list of rates available. So I've synchronized it. So Uh, of course, every day I will receive a new currency rate within that list, and I have already some from the, f the previous days. The, of course, on one side, you're going to have uh, the currency rate from the USD for, f to the euro, and on the other, from the euro to the USD. Thanks to those configurations, when now we create a new vendor bill or a new invoice, Odoo will automatically convert from one uh, currency to the local currency that you have in your database. Let's test it out now. So when I'm in the dashboard, I'm just going to create a new vendor bill from the journal. And let's create here. So what you need to do first is make sure that you have uh, the proper currency applied within your invoice or your bill. So here I'm going to change from Euro to USD. And as you can see here in the total, the proper currency is applied. I'm just going to put a few days earlier so we can see the difference in the rates. And now I'm going to add my invoice line. So uh, I'm just going to put a high amount so we can see the difference within the converted amounts. So on the invoice, you will see $10,000. However, in your accounting within the journal items, this amount is converted into, uh, into euros and with the proper converted rate from the 12th of July. So here 
you see it's a little bit less in euros than it is in dollars. Uh, you can also see the amount in currency appearing here. So you can already have uh, the face to face between the two amounts. Well, now that is done, I just have to confirm the invoice or so, uh, the bill. Nothing changes here. And what I'm going to do is now register a payment, but on the 14th of July instead of the 12th, meaning that I have now a different currency rate applied for that payment. So the, those 10,000 might not be worth the same thing that they were within the vendor bill. I'm going to create the payment. And as you can see here, I have two information uh, within the payment area. So I have the payment for $10,000 and we're going to check out the journal entry for that payment. And as you can see here, we have not nine, $9,950 and so, but we have a little bit less because the currency rate was different. So indeed, in that case, we have an exchange difference entry that was generated automatically by Odoo. Now, if we go back to the bill, you see we have a second information available here, giving us the link to the exchange difference entry. So if we check it out, you can see that the exchange difference was of 16 and 80 euros difference. So automatically, thanks to the configuration, uh, Odoo has automated the process between uh, the conversion of the bill and the conversion of the payment. And all those, of course, are reconciled together. So you have the reconciliation between the bill and the exchange rate. And that's the same thing for the payment entry. OK, but I have both a USD account and Euro account. How do I manage reconciliation in Odoo? Well, Tom, if you have a bank account in another currency than the one from your accounting, it is important to make an extra configuration within the bank journal. So here you see I have a bank account in USD. So if we check out the configuration from that journal, you see the first thing is that the currency is indicated as USD and not Euros. And in the bank account from my chart of accounts, you need to make sure as well that you have the account currency set up properly. OK. Once this is done, when you are in reconciliation, so here uh, you see when I reconcile uh, my item, I have received $269 for a customer invoice that is in my accounting in euros, okay? However, you see here in the customer vendor matching tab, only amounts in dollars. That's because since we are in a bank account in USD, Odoo will automatically convert the euro amounts in dollars, even though the document is in euro. So here I will reconcile the proper invoice. So you see that the amount here is 267 and the, or you can see always the original amount from the document here through the little bill icon. So here it's 266 euros. OK, you see there is a difference. That's because there is an exchange difference indeed. So since we are in a customer invoice, we received more than expected. So we have the payment is higher than the amount on the invoice. We have an exchange gain. OK, to uh, Odoo will not do the exchange difference entry automatically, but you can, throughout the reconciliation, use reconciliation models like here to fill in the proper account for the exchange difference. The only thing I have to do now is validate and we're done with the reconciliation. That's how easy it is it, uh, to use multi-currency in Adu. Don't forget to watch the Unrealized Gains and Losses video for more information. Thank you for watching and ciao tutti.